the takeaway of the video is don't chase clients, don't chase friends, don't chase relationships, don't chase approval, don't chase people or beg people or try to rearrange yourself to get others to approve of you. Do not try to rearrange yourself to get the approval of those who disapprove of you. Hello my lovely peaches. It has been so long since I've done a talking video and I was inspired just now because I have spent like two weeks, two and a half weeks, working on my latest video and I posted the video that I posted for patrons and then I went ahead and I decided to take some time and edit that down into a clip that I could share for free on my YouTube channel because I like I do to like to take the time to make some content that I can share for free and somebody decided to comment on my video how do I get to see this video it's too expensive and then decided to try to school me you know you'll you'll win more people if you have it less look at this website where they do all their videos for $25 and you know it's, it's way too expensive for you uh, to have it like that and basically telling me how I should price my work it's not too expensive for me honey it's too expensive for you you're the one who can't afford me that's on you my love honey as the commenter kept calling me honey honey either you can afford it or you can't you're free to be able to buy free to not so I wrote back a few times and I was gonna share some screenshots I was gonna blur out their name and share some screenshots and then say some things and I decided you know what I'm just gonna pop a little video and just share my thoughts about this generalized first I took a moment to just pause and to breathe because anytime somebody you know comes at you in a way where they're basically accusing you of over overcharging and you know telling you you know you're charging too much money I can get this cheaper somewhere else um, this isn't worth what you think it's worth what you're asking is too much for what you're giving I want more for less and when we get caught up in this mindset we can start to doubt whether or not we really do have the value that we feel but it didn't hit me in that way because I don't and to those who would criticize and say you are charging more than you should you're what you what you're putting out is not worth what I paid guess what you get to make that choice you get to not come back you get to not renew your subscription you get to cancel and n you know not join again everybody gets to make that decision you don't get to go into the restaurant and eat the meal and then say eh, I don't like it give me my money back you don't get not liking something is very different than it being defective was there a fly or a hair or a piece of glass in the meal okay fine you just didn't like it not okay fine I get, give me my money back you don't get to purchase that outfit and wear it to the party or take it on the hike and then return it afterward if something truly doesn't fit and it has all the tags on and you can return it in condition like new sure you can get the money back but not everything is returnable buy that um, floral arrangement or get the uber ride I mean if the guy put your life at risk on the ride of course you get your money back but if you just didn't like his radio station or the route he took even though it didn't cost you more than it would have otherwise or you know whatever the case is a lot of times people try to get their money back because they're just being cheap 
and then of course there is always the case of broken items or actually bad offensive service those are exceptions so that of course exists you should always get your money back if you got really bad service but not just because you're trying to get out of paying for something that you already consumed sometimes if it's really bad of course you get your money back of course you can get your money back sometimes but certain types of products and services you can't get your money back videos that you've watched are not returnable because you pay to watch them so you cannot get your money back after you've watched it. That's just the way it is. And if you s watch the bunch of stuff for free, you, you have an idea of what you're going to get for more. And if you take the time to read the descriptions of what you're getting, you will see that I personally am extremely clear what, what you get for each amount rent a movie on on Amazon Prime and you watch it but then you decide you didn't like it they don't give you your money back just because you didn't like it that's kind of how it is so yes there will always be times when someone is legitimately overcharging and there will also be times when you know anyone needs to seriously consider am I charging too much but at the same time you have to have the ability to not always question and doubt your worth or your value just because someone else does. There will always be someone who wants more for less. There will always be somebody who doesn't want to pay what you're charging. And like I heard the professional organizer Holly Souther Southerland say, when she raises her rates, a lot of those haggling customers who want more for less, who think you're overcharging, who don't value the work that you're putting into what's in the fee, they tend to fall away. Would I tr rather try to satisfy a bunch of cheap ass people who want more for less or would I rather satisfy my own feeling of self-worth and produce what I'm producing out of sincere, genuine, this is really what I'm making. And then the people who are able and willing to pay my fee can step up and pay my fee. That's, that's what I prefer, prefer. So there's always going to be someone trying to tell you that you're not worth that high fee, but that's just because they either they don't want to pay it. Or, like in the case of the two people who were complaining about my fee, I checked on their things. Neither one of them has a single video. And it's very easy for people who don't create to criticize those who do. You know, just like someone might look at a painting that's worth a million dollars and not understand at all and think, I could do that. But yet they're not, okay? So not everyone's criticism is a valid piece of advice or an opinion that we should seriously consider. Sometimes it is, but you also have to look at the source. Is this person who's giving you this advice someone who's who's truly doing it themselves and they know exactly what it takes? Or is this somebody who's just trying to get more for less, trying to get your best stuff for free? Somebody who doesn't believe that you have value, your work has value, why would I try to win people who don't believe I have value? Why would I want to try to win people who literally don't want to pay, who want me to give everything I have for almost nothing? I'm not interested in that kind of clientele. Not at all. And I also invite anyone watching this to consider not being a victim to everybody's opinion. Not everybody's opinion is valid in your business. Someone else might not think the value is there. That does not mean that, that I have to doubt it. And right now I'm not doubting it. That's the way it is. Because I don't have a lack of belief or confidence what I'm giving is 
worth what I'm, what I'm asking. So I responded back to the person. Like, thank you. I do have 600 free videos on my channel. I have created and shared 600 videos for free over the course of several years. Now I'm adding on. I didn't say all of this in the comment. That's why I wanted to make a video to just share my feelings. This was a person who has zero. I checked. I looked at their thing to see what they have. They have zero content. Not one single video does this person have. At least not, not public free videos. And I have 600 videos that I have made all by my little selfie with my little bit of whatever I could manage and my little bit of time in between being a single parent, raising two young children, working, and, you know, everything that comes with life. And, and it's just so interesting to me that somebody who... Zero content, not one single video. And it's just so interesting to me that somebody who knows nothing about my life, nothing about anything about all the content that I've made, everything that I put into it, can come and judge. And the problem is that when we don't have belief in our self-worth, that one person can make you believe that you're not worth what you're worth. But this is to say, hey, I have plenty of hundreds of free videos you can watch. I have a $5. Ooh, or actually well-matched and aligned with that. We'll step forward. That's what I'm doing with friendship, with romance, with clients, with Patreon. I'd rather have eight people who sign up because they like what they get, they love what they get, and they can afford to pay whatever they are paying than me running myself ragged trying to get everybody. I don't need everybody. I just need the ones that are well, well matched. And that is my wish. I'm sharing this for free today. And we'll see. Maybe I'll keep it free. Maybe I'll add it to my Patreon videos. Who knows? Bye. Okay, that's it. As usual, since I have so much more to say on the topic, I'm making a part two, which will be available for patrons who are interested in diving deep into this topic of self-worth. And know your worth, and know that people who say your price is too high, your standards are too high, I can get this cheaper somewhere else, I can get, I can get more for less elsewhere. Bye, go elsewhere. If you're interested in hearing another half an hour worth of this topic, join me on Patreon.